His name is Motion. Michael Motion. He's a choreographer and an athlete, a dancer and a juggler and an acrobat, an inventor, sculptor, scientist, and naturalist. And you'll see his unique performance next on Great Performances. Discovery and play are through my work. Just like Isabella, my daughter, my wife's and my daughter, everything she experiences is new for her. Right now, she's just learning how to use her hands. Hi. 
Hi. When I was a kid, I loved sports, and we, uh, we played sports all the time. My father loved to play golf, and he taught my brother and I. And when we were four years old, we started to play golf. The blissful satisfaction of hitting the ball perfectly, perfectly. Golf was the first experience I had with both power and delicacy in my hands controlling an object. I played on my high school golf team. I probably would have been a professional golfer, but the whole competitive scene, uh, it alienated me. I still like to make the golf ball move. Then I found juggling and acrobatics. When I first came to New York City, I started performing on the streets and in front of the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Juggling demands that every gesture be so precise.
research. Right now, I'm interested in architecture, somehow including larger forms in my performance. There's, there's a piece there somewhere that's screaming to get out. Uh, this is where this dance takes place. So that's one of the guiding forces now for me as far as movement is concerned. Not to try to recreate this, but the fantasy of this being different gods in uh, ancient Greece. This shape is very important to the, to the dance. Be able to either prostrate, dissolve, or whatever into that because the circular shape being constantly both uh, violated and massaged at the same time by that stick and the, you know, us coming into the shape and out of it, I really like. This is the, what we're doing now is just the beginning of a much larger piece that I'm going to have to make. It's going to take a long time. So what I'm doing is grasping the thumb over the top with the left hand, sort of. No strength there. Yeah. You have to you have to put it in against your forearm there. Feel put because right there is where the where the strength comes from. Oh. Uh, okay. uh, yeah. The hand grip for that that I'm using, and I don't know what the only one to use. I'm coming in, I'm putting it in like that. Each new piece that I create is an experiment. There's a risk. But that's the only way to discover something truly original and new and alive. Be careful, Michael. Be careful. I'm going to be careful. John and Eddie, can you move this way towards the mirrors a little bit? Yeah, right there. This piece is still so wide open as far as what's going to be in it. I started playing with another thing that I just said, wait a minute. If, uh -oh. You know, slightly <laughs> towards the mirror. Right there, bingo.
Strong was just. Take two. Clear, please. We have two. Showtime. In five, four, three, push it hard, guys. Two. Studies of nature and ideas and, and interpretations from the, the math, the science of shapes. References from other artists, um, the sculptor Brancusi or Da Vinci, or my good friend sculptor John Kahn, or even my grandfather who was a stonemason, Angelo Motion. and picking up new forms and shapes just to see. And then the senses of these.
I'm still risking everything. It's more difficult, but when you take that risk and it works, there are rewards. To bring something out from inside of you, that's what discovery is. That's what the work is all about. That sense of giving birth to a new something, a new spirit, a new idea, 